it's only a mile or two from uh, some of the parks that we usually fly our quadcopters at. And that encouraged me to look into some alternate modes of transportation. There's a, there's a path, we can a bike path that connects all these uh, trails, all these parks together. So I picked up this, uh, let's see if we can see this here. It's a Hover One or something or another electric bike. mile range I think I only need two miles and I rode it over here for the first time it was less than a mile and yeah it worked way better than I expected yeah, it was a good ride I don't know it seems kind of silly to use an electric bike to go this distance I probably could have got a regular bike but this is Texas and when I'm flying in July it's gonna be 105 degrees and I don't want to be tired and sweaty by the time I get here and then have to ride home when I'm done. So this seemed like a good plan. But we'll find out. Let's take a quick look at the bike here. It's a, uh, it's a little heavy. I was looking at scooters. Like the Segway has a little scooter. It's about 25 pounds. And uh, somebody else has one that's 25 pounds. But this, this is 50 pounds. But it has a seat. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to carry my big bag with me or not. Got a little readout on here. I don't know if you can read that. Less than four miles on it so far. Full battery. I packed up this little, uh, this little Amazon Basics bag. It's just my Tyrannus, my Fat Sharks, half a dozen batteries, and my little Liter 120 micro drone. I figured that was enough to fly on my first attempt out here. all I need to fly today. I mostly just wanted to see how this little bike was gonna make it across to the park here. It was pretty good. Flew my little uh, Leader 120. Fly them all the time. Great little drone. Got them for about 85 bucks. It's the best 85 bucks I ever spent. It's been an amazing drone. I've had it for uh, three or four months now. Tons of fun. Flies great. Super cheap. It's amazing. But uh, me and my, uh, can do like a selfie here. I don't know how to do this. I'm too old. We, uh, me and this bike here, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to go to one of the other parks that we fly at. It's connected to this park too. It's just, uh, just up that road over there. Probably about a mile and a half. Let's see how we do. Wish me luck. Hope I don't die.
rode the bike about a the e-bike electric bike about a quarter of a mile maybe a little more uh, stopped at this uh, fantastic little spot for a micro drone there's all sorts of these trees with lots of gaps in them and not a lot of scraggle down low in the gap that's always what I'm worried about is that those little leaves that are sticking out but there's none of them here this is great it was a lot of fun to fly in this little spot and this is really close to home if I understood how to aim a camera I don't even know if you guys can see but over that way there's a bridge right there I have to go under that bridge to get home and it's uh you can see my house from the other side of that bridge it's fantastic so it'll be a great little spot for flying micro drones it was a little bit windy it was most of the time today I've been flying it's been calm but holy crap it got up there really hard really hard wind but uh me and my goofy bike here you know everybody made fun of this bike i brought it out drove it out to the park in the back of the truck truck it's a pretend suv it's not even a real suv but that's fine i brought it out and everybody made fun of me and everybody took three or four laps around the park with it most people took two turns so it's goofy but it's fun Gonna head over this bridge over here. See, I don't know how to point. I'm going the wrong way. I'm gonna head over this bridge here now and uh, see what I see on the way over there. Made it to another spot we usually fly in. I have tons of videos in this park. It's a big wide open field. It only took a couple of minutes to get here. I don't know. I didn't keep track. I'm up at another point nine, almost a mile from the last spot. I've been doing a good job keeping track. I think I've gone 2.2 miles total. Some puppies running around out there. Grass is pretty high today. I'm just going to be going up another few hundred feet. There's another spot at this park where we fly sometimes. Give that a try maybe. Maybe I'll fly a battery up there. VTX signal at this park. It's mostly up on my channel. I have all my quads set to the same channel and this one doesn't have smart audio or anything so I can't change it. I just flew about half of a battery. I'm gonna take it to the bridge on the way home and see if I can fly there. Should be just another mile here to go. We'll see how it goes.
stopped to fly one more spot. I was hoping I'd have pretty good video reception from underneath this uh, this bridge. This is uh, Spring Creek, maybe? Shiloh? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. The uh, I don't think those power lines over here help very much. I don't, oh, you can only just barely see the these big high power lines here. Don't seem to help much. It doesn't help being under concrete either, I guess. But I figured this would be a good spot to stop and get a few packs in in the middle of July when it's 105 degrees and the sun is out and it's just you're just sweating. It's awful. It's really awful. You know, in the winter time I come out, I fly all my packs and I wish I had more. In the summertime, I charge all my batteries, sit down, fly one. Then I'm dripping in sweat and I want to go home. It's it's terrible. I'm not used to this kind of weather. There's a I bet we can't even see it. It's too bright out there. It's a pretty good size opening over there and over here. There's uh, some trees to fly around over there, do some power loops. The one over there looks like it really needs to be power looped. You probably can't tell in this video, but it really needs to be power looped. It's rather tall though. So I can't see. Yeah, I don't know. I'm right over there. We just follow this path and I'm home. It'll be easy. But yeah, this has uh, been a fun day. I learned a lot. And I got to fly my Leader 120. I, you probably saw that last crash. I smacked it right into the brick wall. It's the first time I uh, bent props bad enough that I want to replace them. I've been running the same Jim Fan 2540s ever since I got them. And they've been fantastic. I've just been bending them back into place. But I bent them pretty good today, two of them. So I'll put a fresh set on when I get home. I didn't bring any tools. I'm only got this little bag. I usually carry my my big think tank airport helipack. It's like 28 pounds loaded up with crap. I didn't think that was a good idea today, so I brought this little backpack. It's a little camera bag. It works pretty well for drone stuff. But yeah, I'm going to head home. I wasn't brave enough to hold this camera while I drive. I've been driving fine. The thing goes over 17 miles an hour, and it's not scary or anything, but Every time I pass somebody, I get a little worried. I get a little shakier. I don't know what's going on there, but I think it's just in my head. Well, I made it home for my journey. See if we can get it to focus in here. I've used one bar. The trip odometer seems to reset. I used, uh, I think we started at three miles, so I've gone 3.7 miles today, give or take a bit. And yeah. That went better than I expected. Much better than I expected. My stupid thing won't focus. Look at it go. Hey, it focused. Look at that. Have a good day, YouTube.